Hey everybody, hope you're having a great and wonderful day. I know I am uh, for two reasons. One, we've got a brand new baseball release to open up here, 2022 Heritage uh, Baseball. And um, I think we're all pretty much excited, especially if you're watching baseball card openings, that Major League Baseball is back. I'm super excited. The deal came in yesterday and um, I was just so just so stoked to hear that it's back that these two sides could actually come together and make it happen. Excited that we're getting the whole 162 season, 162 game season. So super, super excited about that. Just cannot wait for all the free agency to start happening, the trades. Um, spring training starts in what, two days? And so it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a whirlwind, April 7th being opening day. So super excited about that. And I'm also excited, uh, you know, 2022 has been pretty slow, obviously. We've been in the slow baseball period, uh, um, baseball card release period. Uh, we had Tops Series 1. Uh, we had some opening day, and um, which I did pass on this year. Um, it's I went back and looked at my hobby shop was selling for about 60 bucks. Um, that was $5 over last year, and I just call that like the wander percentage fee. So <laughs> everything that he's going to be in is going to be a little bit more... Um, Tops Heritage right here. Uh, definitely excited. I love the look of this box. I am talking way too much. Let's get going. Um, I The box is awesome looking. There is 24 packs uh, in uh, this uh, box with nine cards per pack right there. Uh, we do get a autograph or a relic. Most of the time, Heritage has that relic in it. Um, Pretty much, I would say, uh, <laughs> I think I'm, I don't know if I've ever pulled an auto out of this. And I will say that Heritage um, really has not been very good to me. It's usually very, very boring. But there is always that that chance of getting a hot box, getting those purple refractors. That's what I'm hoping this is. We'll see. I don't know. Um, and maybe we'll get that autograph in there. And maybe this will be the best box that we have ever had of Heritage Baseball. So 400, 500 cards in the set. Um, actually, 400 will be regular cards, and then 100 will be short prints. There's all kinds of stuff that you can miss. Um, very cool right there. Right there on the top, we got an uh, uh, oversized card of Randy Rosarina. As you can see, this is the 1973 style baseball card. Uh, very cool. Look at the back of that right there. Had no idea his name was Gonzalez. Randy Rosarina Gonzalez, uh, he was on my Cardinals team for a while and really just didn't really add up to much. They might have not given him a shot. Uh, obviously, we all know the history of Randy Rosarina as he uh, went to Tampa Bay and um, definitely, uh, uh, what was I going to say, went to Tampa Bay and had that amazing uh, postseason. Looking at this box, it looks a little damaged. That's a big bummer. I hope the cards are not damaged, but we will see. Um, so, like I said, 24 packs in here. There they all are. It looks like we got Otani. Uh, looks like we got, um, I don't know who that is. Is that Sanchez? Oh, it might be Oliver Perez. Maybe it's Perez. Looks like we got Bryce Harper. Don't know if there's... Oh, yeah, we do have some more. So we got um, Bogarts and Devers. Maybe that's it. So there looks like there's four different ones. Pretty cool. I like that when they kind of change it up and put multiple people on there. Kind of like that old school looking drawings on there. Um, but super excited about this stuff right here. Let's get going. Let's hope for a hobby box. It's been four minutes. Let's open some cards. So we've seen the backs of them. They look like that right there. The black borders are going to be tough to keep good. Like you can kind of tell that one's even like a little bit rough right there. I wish they wouldn't have gone with that. But the fronts are nice and uh, usually white. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We have a... <laughs> we have a hot box. Yes. I've never opened up a hot box. This will make this so much more interesting. There's that nice, beautiful purple chrome right there. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. All right, but let's look at these regular cards here. Um, love the simplicity of it. Uh, I love the, the look of them. Um, 
Like this insert a lot, New Age Performers, really cool. Brian De La Cruz, I cannot believe we got a hot box, nice. And Charlie Blackman, this is my very first hot box. I thought if I opened up enough of these, <laughs> over the years I might actually get lucky and get one, but uh, oh, I'm super excited about that. Very cool insert there, Simmons. But I think the most thing that I am super excited about is obviously real baseball coming back. Um, I just cannot wait to see uh, what a teams do with all those big free agents. You know, you got Correa out there. I think the big one, one of the biggest ones is Freddie Freeman. Uh, is he really going to uh, get away from the Braves? Um, you know, I we talk about a lot, you, you know, in, in the time you're like, how can teams let these big players go and and then you realize that, you know, they're maybe it's just that their time is up in that town. And uh, I know it's really bad for the fan base, but, uh, it, you know, I, I would say that uh, being a St. Louis fan, we took one of the biggest hits um, ever when uh, Albert Pujols took more money to go to the Angels. And uh, there's the 2021 20, rookie outfielders. Uh, yeah, and Topps uh, Heritage, uh, the uh, low number, uh, they almost always seem to combine the uh, rookies there. And there's a one of the purple hot boxes, uh, combined rookie thing. But, uh, you know, we had Albert leave, and it was like, I, we couldn't believe it. I mean, he was the baseball player, the best baseball player. Those first 10 years, put him in the Hall of Fame. But then when you really look back, it was good for the Cardinals. Now, we didn't know that uh, he was going to drop off and, uh, you know, go to exactly where he was. Nice. Nice Toler O'Neill for my Cardinal PC. He, I think he's going to have a – he had a great breakout season last year. You think he's going to even have a bigger season this year. We will see. But we didn't know how far Albert was going to drop off. Nice Luis Robert Chrome purple. But – you know, looking hindsight, we saved a lot of money and we probably wouldn't have been able to go get some of the players that we have had in the last couple of years. So it can happen. Those icon players can leave. They can move on. It can be good for your team. It can be bad for your team. Uh, you know, only time will tell. But we'll see where Freddie Freeman lands. And I'll just tell you, Braves, just look at the pool holes thing. Maybe it works out for you guys, even though he will be missed, at least especially this year if he does go sign with somebody else. It's always hard to see him in that other uniform. Beautiful Dylan Carlson right there. He got the gold cup right there. All-star gold cup heritage. Jake Freely, uh, all-time shout-out leader. Let's see what this is. Oh, sh shutout. Did I say shout-out? <laughs> shutout leaders right there. Walter Johnson with 110. Any modern day players on there? Uh, I got Nolan Ryan. Not really. Not really. Um, we have to realize that uh, modern players, if they go five innings, it's uh, like a miracle now, it seems like. So baseball has definitely changed in that way. You guys want to let me know what you guys think, you know, as baseball is um, right around the bend. Uh, there's the guy we've been talking about, Freddie Freeman. And then I rookie there for the Pirates. Um, what you guys think of all the rule changes that are coming? Um, I I think the biggest one, and you know, I I don't care too much about the off-field stuff. It's going to happen. It happened before all this. We just got, you know, looking at the numbers and all that kind of stuff, but just the on-field product is what I care about, and um, I am one of those, and maybe I am the few but I love the DH. I love the DH. I think it's been way too long since it's been and uh, to coming to the NAL. Um, that's a beautiful looking card, Mr. Jake DeGrom. I'm hoping for a healthy season from him. But uh, Wainwright, he's going to be his last year. I think he's going to go out. I hope like him and Yachty have an amazing season together and break that record. I know I'm all over the place a little bit, but let's talk about I love the DH. I just love the opportunity that it gets uh, players, more players to hit. I am not a big fan of watching pitchers hit. I understand the whole talk about strategy and stuff, but uh, it's just not for me. Um, I love the DH. I can. I am so happy that it's here. It looks like we've got something. Um, what is this? 
Why was it upside down? Is it numbered? Hmm, that's one of those ones you gotta go look at. I don't see where, there's a lot of like action shots and um, all kinds of different stuff. Not sure really seeing where that actually is. Oh, it's a black. Oh, it's a black. Oh, wow, okay. I'm sitting there going, I don't, I'm not understood. Yes, the blacks are 50 copies only. So that's what, there you go. But man, it is going to be hard to keep those corners good. Like, I mean, you can even see it. It's already kind of down there already. But Steven Piscotti, ex-Cardinal right there, uh, 50 copies. That's a hobby only there. Um, really awesome. Very cool. Matt Manning, purple rookie card there. Stone base leaders and nice rookie of Bruhan. Not the Ray you want to see, uh, obviously, uh, in these boxes, but uh, you want to see the other guy. But um, really look forward to that. I know like next year they're bringing in um, the larger bases, which is heat neither here nor there. Um, but then they're also bringing in a uh, nice Alex Reyes. Um, well, look at that follow through right there. Um, the the pitch clock is is coming. Um, I could totally dig that. I think any time to kind of cut some uh, baseball off. I am really truly um, excited about a lot of the rule changes and the things that are going on. Um, I, I, I need we need some progression in baseball to change up things. I know a lot of people are like, no, you don't want to change it. They're changing a great game. Um, but uh, it, it, it's truly it's it's going to be good. I keep pausing on Seth Beer. Uh, been watching him since I have been a Clemson uh, Clemson fan for a long time. Uh, been watching him uh, play at Clemson, and um, hopefully he will get his shot this year. It's been uh, definitely a long time coming. Um, we'll see if he uh, gets an actual real chance to play there for the Diamondbacks. But it's cool to see his rookie card. So you guys have to let me know any other changes that you guys. Uh, no down there anything that I've missed about how uh, there's other uh, um, cards to or I'm just other cards um, other rule changes that you guys like or don't like you guys have to let me know Trey Turner right there um, there is his purple chrome parallel um, he actually Trey parallel Trey Turner Trey Mancini and Ryan Mountcow so have chrome versions but they don't have base cards um, regular base cards they will be in the high number so somebody kind of messed up there at tops or changed something up and uh, messed that up. Nice Otani. But uh, just know that if you are a Trey Turner guy, a Trey Mancini guy, or a Ryan Mountcastle guy, that there is uh, nobody in there that, oh, look at that corner. Oh, that's not too bad. But those black backs are going to be really hard <laughs> to keep good. Um, I am not a grader of any kind of card. Um, so I don't look at it like that, but... Uh, I know a lot of people do, um, but that's where these beautiful crumbs come in. Even though the backs are a little rough on these two. Yeah, look at all that black. Board. Man, look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. Ah, it's a bummer. Bobby Riley, Lance Lynn. Uh, let's see what we got. Um... Phil Gosselin, Cabrera, he's going to be in his last year. Well, no, he's got a couple more years, right? Um, but he's definitely a future Hall of Famer. And there's nice Randy Ruiz Arena. We saw that card in the oversized card. There it is in the purple hot box version. I still can't believe we got a purple hot box. Absolutely crazy. It's like one, uh, one in every, like one in every case, I think. Um, so I've gotten pretty lucky, um, with the case hits, um, my Allen and Ginter, uh, Chrome from last year, I got the autograph, the one per, uh, beautiful Mike Trout there. Can never go wrong with a Mike Trout refractor Chrome card. Hauser and then Michael Sano. Miguel Sano, sorry. Mm. I'm a little all over the place. Uh, we, I am just, I, 
was not expecting that announcement yesterday and it just kind of came out of nowhere and then I was pretty much glued to um, my TV and MLB network uh, just kind of taking it all in and um, now I'm just ready for like I said all that free agency uh, nice posy card there that'd be the last card because uh, he is retired he's not even playing this year but uh, nice uh, nice Last card there might, I don't know if he will go all the way through the 2021 season. I would, or 22 season. I wouldn't know uh, when he's going to kind of stop being in stuff. But obviously there's older players that are in stuff. So maybe he's in it for a long time. But I wonder when he stops getting <coughs> base cards. Sorry, excuse me. There's Edmund Sosa. That's cool that he got a card. Um, he came in and started playing when Paul DeYoung was not doing very well. And, uh, did a really good job. Um, I think I could live with him at shortstop. Um, I don't know if he's our long-term solution, though. But maybe he proves me wrong. There's Kelnick. There we have our victory leaders. The A on the NL. Nice Tommy Edmonds. So I'm getting a lot of Cardinals, too, which is absolutely amazing. I will take them each and every day. So nice Cedric Mullins, which is, is actually a very nice card to pull nowadays. Uh, Michael Brantley is our purple. Alec Mills and Wade. So as you would see, if the true like one excitement in these, each, any of these, is the the purple hot box. So if you don't get one, which I don't ever, this is my first year ever, you can kind of tell how these packs become a little bit, just a little bit boring. There's not a ton of like excitement in these boxes. And I would say that most of these are definitely... Um, this set is definitely kind of more of a collector's, uh, set collector set, um, which is another thing that I don't do. Looks like all your Marlins rookies there, Joey Wendell and Zach McKendry. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a, a cool opening because there's not a lot of stuff going on. It's slow, um. I'm always a little bit uh, uh, disappointed in it, but uh, do love this design. There's Jared Duran. I know a lot of Boston Red Sox fans are big on him, and um, maybe he'll be a breakout, and he'll be that uh, breakout guy that that uh, becomes that second uh, rookie there under uh, Wander. Um, because that is this these sets are going to need somebody else, one or two of those guys to kind of break out to kind of like. Uh, Make these sets not just wander heavy and wander, 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 wander all the time. But it is crazy, you know, the spike of his price of his cards when they happened um, were just crazy coming out of the bat. And, uh, oh, very cool. So obviously this are photoshopped. I, I would, yes, they have to be. Um, but Steven Matz is our one big guy that has signed up uh, so far and, um, to the Cardinals, and uh, it's pretty cool that he is in his uh, Cardinals uniform. So we're seeing a little bit of those guys that got the early uh, early signings and stuff like that before the the lockout get cards um, with their new teams, which is very very cool. Oh, that's a cool looking card. Then and now, Reggie Jackson and Perez. Looks like we got a Freddie Freeman purple there. Um, oh, RBI leaders. Very cool. So Salvador Perez had an amazing season last year. Really, really cool. Um, definitely one of the uh, top catchers in baseball right now. There's Freddie Freeman, the purple parallel. Oh, we're almost through. We've got about, what, like, I think seven more packs left. So let's see if we can get anything else out of here uh, worthwhile. Uh, there's your runs batted in leader, Gavin Sheets. Yes, all right. <laughs> I know there's a lot, a lot of chatter because of old Lars Newt Bar um, on some other channels and stuff. And yes, his name is fun. And if you're a Cardinal fan, and you've been watching Cardinals. They they all yell Newt, Newt. And uh, it's he's been a kind of a cool guy, but um, it's funny to see his cards like expensive. Like I saw a Series One rookie, and it was like. 10 20 bucks or something like that. i don't know if it was a parallel or not but i'm like he's 
a really good fourth outfielder. Um, don't know if it's going to make much more than that, but he does have a cool name. He, he seems like a big, good dude and actually uh, saved our butts a couple of times with defensive and a hit. Um, I was at a home run. I was at a game where he had a, he didn't know he had this saving. Uh, he robbed a home run and it sent him to extra innings and then we won. Uh, so it was really, really fun. But he is, he's kind of one of those like little uh, local, local cult heroes, I guess is what you can call them. But uh, it'd be interesting to see, kind of see where his career goes. Uh, nice Walker Bueller red or purple. And then a young Mike Trout. Look at that boy. Hood photos of the stars. Um, little did his parents know. Uh, back then he would grow up to be one of the best baseball players in the world. Um, just so glad that hopefully he'll have a, a full uh, healthy season. And, uh, you know, with the shortened pandemic season and then the, uh, he was injured last year. It's just like one of the best players has been kind of out of baseball for a while. And so it'll be good to see him if he comes back um, healthy. It will be really, really good to see uh, him play in baseball again. So here we got another one right here. This is, why is this upside down? I think it might be a flip stock. Is it a flip stock? so hard to tell. I mean, it feels, um, I don't know about this one and I'm just so annoyed by these black borders, man. Um, I am not sure. I am not 100% sure why this is upside down. Maybe you guys can help me point it out. I'll have to go look and see dig in a little bit more um it almost feels it really does feel like a flip stock i think it is and that's if that is that's a five copies that's to five copies and, and here's the annoying part right there it comes out of the box looking damaged oh man that's annoying but i'm pretty sure guys that is yeah, I would say, I think that is. I think it is. Not 100% sure. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe they just turned a card over. Um, it's like one of those things with Heritage. You definitely have to uh, dig through them and find all the... Uh, maybe it's a... Man, there's all kinds of different things in here. So let's see. Let me look real quick. Um, where did they go? Where did all the variations go? Yeah, see, there's the error short prints. There's player icon swap, logo swaps. There's throwback uniforms. There's image variations. There's team and name color swaps, nickname variations. So I'll have to look uh, when I get some time and figure out what that is. And uh, please help me out if, uh, if you know. Brandon Crawford. Flashback of a bridge. <laughs> They're kind of uh, reaching into uh, Allen and Ger Allen and Ginter territory. There, nice Joey Votto, purple, and Verlander, who will hopefully uh, stay healthy and be back. And um, man, I just want to just cannot wait for these uh, spring training games to start. And then obviously for the season. So this has been a great box. Now we even got our our uh, our, our patch. Um, it's, uh, Chapman, not numbered or anything. It's just a basic red, and that's you know that's what you expect. So you take out the purple hot box, you take out. Uh, but I mean, we got a patch. We got a, a black border. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure. Maybe that is a, a reverse. Um, stock card that's to five uh, it's hard it's so hard to tell on this until you like really dig in um but it's been a pretty good box nothing big super big out of here and we have not seen a wander franco yet we've got three more packs to find them it would be nice to kind of pull his rookie card in this Lane Thomas, an ex-Cardinal. Joey Gallo right there on in Yankees. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. 
Well, maybe these boxes have been good. So here's one. Uh, it's a just a regular chrome refractor of Mookie Betts. They are numbered differently this year. It is the 673, so you can kind of see that there is an overprint of this as well. These used to always be out of 571, um, so they are definitely uh, definitely a little bit higher printed this year. Um, but not too bad. A nice Durant uh, purple chrome, Toro and Rendon. Oh boy, I did that, okay. Um, two more packs. Thanks for hanging out with me uh, for this brand new release of Heritage. Um, I gotta say, this has been a great box with it being a hot box. Um, I would just say if there's one kind of like uh, downfall or uh, hit against these, uh, that's, I, I really like these new age performers, is the black backs. Um, it's just a, just a bummer on that. I just <laughs> wish they were not black black. Uh, backs because they all seem to be a little bit damaged so just know that when you're going in that's probably going to happen and so our last one we got Swanson Max Kepler nice Yadier Molina very cool I can give that right to my youngest son he'll be his last year too um, I kind of hit on it a little bit earlier but uh, Wayno and um, Yadi, if they pitch enough games as a battery they can become the number one uh uh, pitcher to catcher battery of all time i think they needed like another 20 21 starts possibly together so it should be fun kind of seeing them chase that see if they can get there um our last one is a purple is a rookie uh tj for friedel i have never heard of him well, this is our last purple we got us a Marte and an odor so no wonder Franco in there, Franco, 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 uh, but definitely, uh, definitely a great box. We've got our uh, hot box, which is the purples there. We've got this uh, uh, clubhouse collection uh, patch of Chapman. Um, not 100% sure what this is yet. Um, I think it's a flip stock. I want to say it's a flip stock. And then um, our Stephen Piscotti uh, um, black border, which are out of 50. So Really great box. Oh, let's not forget. I mean, we've got the parallel of Mookie Betts and then a ton of Cardinals cards. Uh, so I really do. Great box. Exciting box. Um, probably just missing pulling a, a Wander Fra Franco. Franco, Franco. I, I'll get that down. I, pr I promise. Don't give me too much crap in the comments. But um, super excited that baseball's back. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you soon, hopefully uh, sooner than later. Everybody be good to each other. See you later. Bye.